Yeah, they should have finished the job because I've been hit a lot harder than that. And the only thing that they've managed to do is piss me off. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. So, uh, let's get to it, y'all. Um, so, I did the video earlier talking about the backstage attack where Damage Control attacked uh, Trish Stratus in the back. I don't believe we saw, I don't believe they showed us Damage Control the rest of the night from what I remember. Um, so, that was it. Pretty much that backstage segment, we didn't hear from them the rest of the night. So, um, later on, Kathy Kelly kept on trying to get some information. By the way, Kathy Kelly looking really good, by the way. <laughs> he looking really good tonight. Uh, but anyways, man, um, Kathy Kelly kept trying to get some information from, first he was trying to get it from Becky and, and Lita, who looked like they, you know, came to the arena kind of late, right? Um, like in the middle of the show. He tried to get some information from them then. On what Trish status uh, status was, and then when they came out, Trish came out with him this time. She finally got some information. You know, we saw Trish with some bruises, and she said, "Look, I've been through worse." So, but she said they definitely pissed her off, and she was real mad. She was real ticked off. She was real ticked off. Uh, this is why I'm saying this is. See, at first. I wasn't behind the whole heelish idea, but the more and more I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I'm kind of into it. As long as there's a payoff here, the payoff that I want is I want Trish Stratus to take damage control away from Bailey. I want that to be the payoff because if she's going to turn heel, why not have Trish Stratus take damage control from Bailey and or even join up? With Bailey the damage control doing a huge swerve on Trish and Becky, getting that storyline started. So if this is gonna be a SummerSlam match between her and Becky Lynch on uh at SummerSlam on August the fifth in Detroit, why not just have Bailey uh why not just have Trish have some help with some henchmen, some NXT girls. See, I went I go over this in a video. Uh I did a forty minute video by the way that y'all need to check out. I haven't uploaded it yet, but Whenever it's uploaded, make sure y'all check it out. I go over why Trish should lead damage control. Um, it is a very interesting video. Because uh, I go over all the things that's wrong with damage control in like the first 20 minutes. And then I start going into the, 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 the Trish stuff the last 20 minutes. So, it's really good. But I think if they do that, because now they got, like, look at Trish's demeanor right now. If they can keep that same demeanor on Trish, like she's just pissed off. I think you could turn her heel that way too. Maybe try to get get it to where Trish is frustrated, maybe a little bit jealous of Becky and Lita, uh, getting all the attention, and then maybe just having Trish then try to get Dakota Kai and Eos got to turn on Bailey, or at some point maybe Trish talks to Bailey and be like, "Why don't we run Damage Control together?" You know what I'm saying? Like they could do either one, but I rather they, I rather she take Bailey out of the group so that she become the sole leader. You know, let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, very interesting stuff. I thought I thought it was a very interesting swerve that they did with this storyline here tonight. Uh, I liked it. I like basically this is my favorite part of Raw. The Raw tonight was this whole thing going on with Trish, Lita, Becky, and Damage Control. That, this is my favorite part. But uh, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm gonna come back to wrap this up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App dollar sign Sack Exchange to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more. Thank you. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be very interesting to see what they do. Uh, like I say, it's a lot of peelers in this and, and a lot of things that they could do with the storyline. Uh, so with two weeks to go, um, it should be interesting to see what they're going to do. I think they're going to get their clap back at Damage Control probably next week or the week after. But what I'm really interested in seeing is where they go with this thing with Trish, bro. That's what I really want to see. So we're going to do a poll, too, because... I wanted to see where y'all head was at. Who should lead Damage Control? If Damage Control stays a group. Or just even, maybe even giving Trish her own group when she turns heel. 
who do you think would be the best leader? I will have Trish in the poll. I'm going to have Bailey in the poll. Um, I might even throw in some other names like Liv Morgan. Uh, see, I was going to have Carmella, but I think she's going to be with Chelsea Green, so I don't think she's going to be leading the group at all. I don't think there's no plans for her to lead the group anyways right now. So, uh, But I did have those names, so make sure y'all vote in that poll, and we'll, we'll do that. Tomorrow, it looks like NXT is going to focus in on this uh, the attacks of the key to line. No. No, Roxanne Perez in the ambulance. So definitely check me out tomorrow on NXT, man. If not, I'll see y'all for SmackDown. Also, make sure y'all watch my uh, matches that Matt, Matt Kim K uh, uh, got for y'all, uh, recorded for y'all over the weekend. I'm going to be uploading those. So thank y'all for watching. After news, so I'll see y'all later.